Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jonas and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here on this channel, I love discussing some of life's greatest mysteries. And you know, it's funny that of all of life's many mysteries, quite possibly the greatest one of them all is not out there somewhere in some remote corner of the universe, but in here, within each one of us, in the very core of our being, the mystery of consciousness. It is what we are, and yet at the same time, it's a complete mystery. Every experience of the universe out there in reality happens in here within consciousness. Like there's no experience of life possible without consciousness. And yet at the same time, our most advanced science has no idea how to begin to make sense of the nature of consciousness. We can investigate this mystery for ourselves. We can pause and become aware of awareness. Like here in this area between the ears, there's like this opening, this clearing, this window in the universe through which all of life passes. When we really begin exploring this, this inner world, this mystery of the self, to me that is the path of spiritual awakening. It's not some new age philosophy or some religious dogma or belief system or anything like that. For me, spiritual awakening from this perspective is universal to all people. It's, it's a fundamental aspect of being a human being because we all share this mystery of consciousness. Now, why is this important? Well, if there is one thread that ties together all spiritual and religious teachings from all around the world, from all throughout time, it's the idea that this self-discovery, this self-knowledge is the key to finding true peace in this human lifetime. Like a deeper sense of contentment and fulfillment can't be found anywhere in the external material world. It comes when we get in touch with being, when we discover who we are on the deepest level beyond the ego identity that lives in the mind. Buddhism, for example, teaches that true peace and liberation does not come from doing and accomplishing or achieving or acquiring or realizing our goals in the external world. That's all the realm of samsara. The way of nirvana, of true liberation, comes through being, through getting in touch with the Buddha nature, which is within each one of us, that transcendent spark of life, the pure essence, the soul or the spirit. It was really through my use of psychedelics in combination with meditation that I realized that there is something here to what I am, to what we are, that is beyond this human lifetime, that does not die with the death of the physical body. I realized that Ultimately, all is one. We have all emerged from the same infinite source. We're all like waves on the same ocean of life. And if you look beneath the surface, the wave is just as infinite and vast as the entire ocean itself. And in the same sense, the true essence of what we are is the same as the essence of the universe, of life itself. And I do believe that someday in the near future, science is going to have to grapple with this realization that there is such a thing as a soul or a spirit or some kind, whatever you want to call it. It is the essence that lives on beyond this human lifetime. But you don't have to take my word for it. All of the science is moving in this direction. With each new discovery in the field of quantum physics, we're discovering more and more that consciousness is non-local, meaning it exists beyond time and space. And if you look at the research into near-death experiences, mysticism, shamanism, remote viewing, reincarnation, psychedelics, and much, much more, all of which I discuss in other videos on this channel, I believe that there is more and more empirical scientific evidence that is building up that is revealing beyond a shadow of a doubt that there is something here that does not die with the death of the body, that we are ultimately transcendent beings who are having a temporary human lifetime. And from that perspective, it becomes very clear that this human identity, like the identity of Jonas, I am Jonas, it's not the deepest truth of 
who and what we are. There is an essence that is beyond that because there's an essence that's beyond this human lifetime. And that recognition, that awareness, that is step one on the path of spiritual awakening. Step two is to integrate that awareness into our everyday human life, our human existence, which can be very challenging and very difficult. But at the same time, it's incredibly simple because it always comes back to now, to this present moment, to pausing and noticing where we are and noticing ourselves. And you might also notice that the more you go into that pause, just being, relaxing into presence, resting in presence. <laughs> that is so key. Resting in presence. Then you, you can maybe begin to notice that there is a peace. There is a stillness inherent in that silence, in that presence. That is the path of joy from within that Buddhism and all of the world's spiritual and religious teachings are guiding us towards. Just through the simple act of becoming conscious of this moment, coming into alignment with this moment, taking a deep conscious breath and being aware of awareness, that is setting the stage for peace and joy and love and liberation to flow into our lives, not just for our sake and our benefit, but for the sake and benefit of everyone around us and all of infinite existence. Peace.